All right, in this geek tip, I'm going to show you how to clean up and reset Google Chrome. So, this is a re-recording of a video recorded, well, it's probably the third iteration of this video since we've made uh, several revisions over the past decade or so. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at Google Chrome this time. So, First thing we want to do is go over here to the three vertical dots and we're going to go down to settings. So uh, we got 16 categories now up here on top or on the side here. So let's go through them one by one, shall we? All right. So you and Google basically this is where you can actually customize your profile can synchronize the different uh, your different browsers your cell phone to your your computer to your tablet and yada 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 you can import bookmarks and settings so uh, good thing to know autofill and passwords well you've got your Google password manager payment methods and addresses and more if you go to Google manager password manager usually requires you to add your username and password to access any passwords there are none inside of this browser right now so but yes normally it would ask you for your username and password for your computer so this is places where if you don't want that data stored just get rid of it so privacy and security this is where we definitely want to go look. Uh, go safety check. It's an interesting little uh, application. It'll run you through several different questions on you know your preferences with security. So that's uh, uh, you know if we got time, do that. Delete your temporary browsing. This is where you definitely want to go. Um, I always recommend do just the basic. Definitely do all time. Just clear out the history, the cache, and the the images. Um, you know, basically, you know, this will all be you know picked back up next time you go out browsing. So uh, definitely clean that up. That'll make the browser run a lot better. So privacy guide. Um, well, it is what it is. Um, basically, just you know, walks you through different um, choices third-party cookies you can actually you know run with the default here blocking third-party cookies in cognito mode but not in standard mode this is just default settings if you really wanted to you could completely block all cookies altogether so but that's where you do that add privacy you know, you know you can change how you're targeted and how your data is used for advertising there Security uh, standard protection is usually recommended. Um, you can do enhanced protection, but you have to realize that some of the functionality of some websites may be blocked due to the the uh, the up enhanced protection. So, um, other than that, you know, just uh, just some basic security options here and site settings which allows you to uh, you know um, you know to set the settings for different sites that are allowed to do things you know run java and things like that so um, performance well it is as it says it's uh, has some good features here allows you to use the memory saver uh, if you want you can preload pages on your system so AI innovations well it's just uh, the up-and-coming AI revolution so appearance this is completely and totally personal preferences here so um, you know you can customize uh, Google Chrome to an extent so 
search engine this is where you select your default search engine you definitely want to take a look here if you've had any malware or adware that might have compromised your browser it could actually change your default search engine so that when you go searching up here on the up on the, the address bar um, if you're using a compromised search engine it'll give you all sorts of wacky results so definitely want to go back in here you want to check your search engines if there are any in here you don't recognize you can actually go in here and, and change them you know you can right click here delete so definitely if you're getting weird search results this is where you want to go in the search engine so default browser uh, it's kind of self-explanatory click on make default opens up system settings and you can set the default browser on startup this is where you also want to check and see if there's any malicious pages that are loading when you actually start up Chrome uh, a lot of times if you get your system off the internet and start up Chrome you then it doesn't have access to the internet it, it doesn't have access to any of these pages that might be set to load up so that's a, a little hip tip you know disconnect from the internet before you go checking these pages language downloads accessibility these are all personal preferences so uh, you know, nothing in here to to you know help clean up or, or reset Chrome so system uh, this is one you definitely want to take a look at you definitely do not if you unless you have like uh, Google Docs or the Google Apps running and it requires Google Chrome definitely I would definitely turn that off you do not want Chrome running after you close it okay um, unless you get prompted by a Google app that it has to be turned on I would turn it off that way you know when you shut down Chrome it's shut down and it's not going to be running in the background so and of course down here next one is reset settings you can reset the whole Chrome browser back to default just by clicking on that so be careful it can be done but uh, you know, like I say it'll uh, it'll reset everything back for you next thing you want to do is check extensions if there are any extensions in here that you do not recognize do not hesitate to turn them off uh, you can if, if you you know that you don't need them and you never want to use them and just click remove so you definitely want to get rid of any extensions in here that you don't recognize you don't know where they came from you know they kind of weird strange yeah Phew. get rid of them remove them you know at least turn them off and see how the system reacts so all right so we've got extensions and the last one about Chrome really you can get help report issue privacy policy um, it tells you if it's up to date if it's not up to date it'll tell you you know the status of the update as it's downloading so all right so if by chance none of this works and you just want to uninstall reinstall Chrome and it's fairly simple to do you can either do it through the settings here you go to the installed apps here's Google Chrome you click on the three horizontal dots click on install you can also go to the search box and you can do it through the control panel control panel programs and features on this all Chrome of course if I have Chrome have the control panel shown as category 
it'll be under uninstall of programs so all right so let's say you've uninstalled Chrome you restart Windows bring it back up you got to remove the rest of the remaining bits of Chrome before you go on so first place you want to go is you want to look open up file explorer we need to go local disk C program files Google Chrome okay so you have a Chrome directory go ahead right click on it delete it get rid of it you know if it's still there after you uninstalled go ahead and delete it you also need to get rid of any files on your user profile that would be doing through a run dialog box we'll go over to user profile app data local Google and we'll see Chrome here so we'll we done you know if that was still there after you were uninstalled it you need to go ahead and delete it now you're clean of all references of Google Chrome and you can go ahead and just download it again and reinstall it and everything should be good to go so for the complete blog go on over to Google or go over to geeksandphoenix.com you'll actually find a link to it in the uh, description of this video so all right for more geek tips go on over to geeksandphoenix.com all right till then we'll talk to you later